Hello everyone, this is Madhav Arun. I hope you all are fine and you're most welcome to my YouTube channel, Listen Kahania. I am back today with a new story, with a new day, new story, and the name of the story is The Human False Belief. A long time ago, a boy went to a circus. Now, when he went inside the circus, he saw some elephants, some huge elephants. They were being tied up with a small rope in their front leg. Now, the boy was thinking that yeah, these elephants are so big, uh, they can easily break this small rope. But what is the reason that they are not even trying to break that? The boy was confused and even curious to know the fact that why the elephants are not breaking their rope. Now, also one thing that there were uh, not any chains. Yes, it was just a small rope that they are tied up with. Now, the boy also saw the elephant's trainer next to them. Now, the boy went to the trainer to ask that what is the reason behind this fact. Now, as the boy went to the trainer and asked his question, the trainer smiled and said, that when these elephants were small, they are tied up from then till now. As they were growing slowly and slowly, they were conditioned, they were, unka jo mind tha, usse is tarike se make up kiya gaya tha ki, that they cannot break the rope. Now, after listening to this, the boy got shocked. Here, is it the reason? The trainer said, yes, exactly, this is. Now the boy was shocked. He saw the elephants in a very pity manner. And he went away from there. So guys, it was just a story that I discussed with you. But if I say that the story is completely related to our life, Yes, the story is completely related to our life. I ask you when uh, we were small kids, then how we were judged? We were judged on the basis of marks we got. We were judged on the basis of percentile we got at the end of the year. Whether, whether you go to any school function, whether you go to any marriage function, what was asked from you? It was just that in which class you are? You say I am in this class. What was your percentage in the previous class? And on the basis of that, the person judged you. Isn't it so? I think it is. Now, when we came to our 10th standard, then did you decide your stream? I think that most of us will give the answer no. It was our percentage that decide what we have to do in our future. What we have to do in our 11th standard, 12th standard, it was our percentage that decided. It was our marks that all decided. If you get 60% marks, take art. If you get 70 to 80% marks, take commerce. It, if you get more than 90% marks, then take science. Who decided this? It's just the mentality of society that is going on in our surrounding. And we all are trapped in it. So guys, just break the small rope that you are tied up with. We are tied up with to stay in a particular limit. If we think to do uh, something else that is big in imagination 
then the society pulls down. Even our people pulls down that you cannot do it. You, you, you should change your goal. Even they say this. But I request you all that do not even think to change your goal just because of these people, just because of society, just because of the less percentage you got in your back classes. Just do it what you want. Just do what you want. Just do what you like. It is your future. None of the business of anybody else. I hope you like my video and enjoyed my video. Stay tuned for more such videos. Thank you very much for listening to me. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.